My name is Brad Crane and I'm the President and CEO of Arvest Bank. Arvest Bank is grateful to be a part of the 90 Ideas Forum. We think it's a great investment of your time and of our dollars in our community. Good morning, everyone. So uh, for my seven minutes, I'm going to talk about some general uh, philosophies and practices that I use that have helped me in not only in entrepreneurship, but just to help myself become a better person. Um, so my goal here is to inspire at least some of you in the audience to take some of these ideas, put them into practice, and hopefully to see improvements in your personal life and or uh, business life. So uh, in no particular order, uh, first off, you have to master your specialty. Um, so once you've figured out and determined, kind of honed in on what you're very passionate about and what you've committed yourself to, um, just totally own that space and immerse yourself in it. So read blogs, read newsletters, uh, watch, uh, listen to podcasts, watch TED Talks, um, go to conferences, consult the scientific literature. Whatever you have to do to stay ahead of the game in your field and master your specialty, just do it. Because people are always going to be looking to you for that expert status, and it's not going to go away. Um, so number two, always be questioning and always be curious. So by asking somebody a question or by typing something into the Google search bar, you're consciously making the decision and the effort to learn something new that you didn't know before. Um, so if we allow ourselves to always be the ones being asked the questions, then we're constantly just reiterating what we already know to be true, which is probably something within our specialty. So we're cheating ourselves out of the opportunity to learn more, and we're also um, just reiterating the same thing over and over again. So uh, be specific, too, when you're asking questions. So um, nine times out of 10, when you ask a general question, what do you get in response? A very general answer. Um, so why not be specific? So worst case scenario is you get a general response to a specific question. Well, at least you tried. If you do that enough times, you'll become a more well-rounded individual. You'll become more knowledgeable and a smarter person. So remember that intelligence and being knowledgeable is something that is not uh, given to you. It's something that you have to reach out and earn for yourself. Uh, so number three, avoid multitasking at all costs. Um, so this sounds trivial and a little bit Weird, but um, so 2% studies have shown 2% of the entire world's population have, uh, are unable to, or I'm sorry, 2% of the entire world's population are able to multitask effectively. So that means 98% of people in this room and around the world should not be multitasking. And actually, uh, people who do multitask who aren't in that 2% are reducing their productivity by 40% studies show. So don't multitask. Um, to me, multitasking is kind of like the art of potentially screwing a whole bunch of things up all at once. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's why I just simply don't do it. So it's stressful. Uh, it can be disrespectful to the p if there are people involved. Uh, and you can't devote your full attention to any one given task. It's basic math. You have to divide it between multiple things. So I just don't do it. Uh, number four, keep your eyes on your own page. Um, so this is something that um, inspired me from a song, uh, one of my favorite Modest Mouse songs that I heard a long time ago. But uh, basically, uh, it's like you learned back in grade school. Uh, keep your eyes on your own page or else you uh, are setting yourself up for failure or you're going to fail. Um, so for me, uh, unless you're researching the competition or kind of reaching out to get new business ideas or helping someone out with a problem, it's probably doing you a lot more harm than good uh, by keeping yourself in everybody else's business and wondering what everybody else is doing all the time. So you're opening yourself up to vulnerability, th uh, feelings like comparison, greed, uh, envy, self-image, expectations from other people, things that simply just don't serve us. So when in doubt, um, just focus on your own page. Be the architect of your own future. You're the only one who can do that. Your blueprint's the only one that's going to work for you. So follow that one. Uh, number five, take regular adventures. So I found a direct and positive impact on my work life by regularly doing things that I don't normally do, aka taking adventures. Um, so this means different things to different people. To some people, it means going to uh, climb a mountain or going hiking or uh, backpacking in Europe. Whatever it is, regardless, you're accomplishing the same task of getting away from your habitual norm and your complacency of day-to-day -day routine life. Um, so 
you're reaching, you're reaching out, you're doing new things, exposing yourself to new and potentially inspiring ideas. So always be traveling. Uh, to me, there's perhaps no better work inspiration than to go new places, talk to new people, travel, um, just immerse yourself in cultures and get new ideas. Keep in mind that you're not gonna, probably not going to have any new ideas if you don't do any new things. So. Uh, number six, practice something called lifestyle medicine. This is last but not least, by the way. Um, six, practice life, something called lifestyle medicine. Lifestyle medicine is founded on uh, four main pillars or foundations. And ever since I learned about these uh, several years ago at a talk I went to, um, they have changed my life for the better in a lot of different ways. So this is something, it's a program that if implemented and followed correctly, uh, it's been shown to cure illnesses, both mental and uh, physical illnesses. It's been shown to increase productivity, increase happiness, and even reverse heart disease. Uh, so it's super, super powerful stuff. It's been shown to reverse heart disease. So uh, what is lifestyle medicine? So there's four pillars, as I mentioned, eat well, move more, love better, and stress less. So four very basic things. There's things you can do for each one of those. So for me, eat well. Uh, my philosophy on eating well is just screw the diets. Eat health, just eat healthy. So there's so much uh, scientific theory and genetic variation between all of us um, that there's no one diet fits all approach. So simply eliminate sugar, don't drink soda, eat more vegetables, and eliminate bad fats. Can't go wrong. Uh, Pillar two, move more. So just be more active throughout the work week. The more active you are, the more energy your body produces, which is the more productive you'll be throughout the work week. Uh, do things that are fun. I play tennis throughout the week, go to yoga classes, uh, ride my bikes, do things that you're gonna look forward to and not dread doing. Uh, number three, uh, pillar number three, love better. Um, so this is one that I kind of have to work on. I'm a little bit more of an independent, um, closed off uh, uh, compared to some people, so I work at this one, but love better has to do with valuing your personal relationships, connecting with your loved ones, um, going places with them, opening up to them, being a better communicator in general. So that's love better. Fourth pillar, uh, stress less. Um, so we all have various stresses that come at us through the course of our lives, whether it be work, family, finances, whatever it is, uh, that's going to happen, and that's okay. It's how we respond to the stress that's the most important part. So there's things we can do to mitigate the stress, such as uh, what I like to do is, again, throughout the day, uh, throughout the work week, go to yoga classes. Uh, I do breathing exercises throughout the day. Do a short meditation in the morning to kind of get myself centered for the day. Um, stretch a lot. Play tennis, like I said. Played tennis for like three hours yesterday in preparation for this talk. Um, so... <laughs> That's uh, lifestyle medicine. So um, yeah, so just to close up here, uh, I'd like to challenge you guys in the audience to take one, if not all of these ideas, implement them. I promise you it's gonna make you a better person uh, and hopefully you'll see some improvements in your personal and work life as well. So thank you very much.